Welcome back to uh, Elvis Monroe's Story So Far. I'm Brian, and that's Ben. And, and I had a costume change. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you did? No, no you didn't. No, you I didn't. thought I did. You know, maybe we just reverse. We just put out a different episode, like, each week, so it looks different. Look at us being smarter than the You know? Guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, it's again, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, if you're listening to Rock Rage Radio, thank you so much. Thank you, Chase, for running the show. And... Sticking around really late, because uh, you don't know what time we're doing this, but this is late in Las Vegas right now, and we are we are taking up his time. Uh, he could be out, like, swiping right on a on an app or something. You know, I'm doing that is. as we speak. Oh, <laughs> I knew he was <laughs> going to be that. doing something like that. And um, you guys don't know, but it's four in the morning. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's crazy. Uh, and so we just duck what hours. you're going to find at four in the morning, though, Chase? I don't know, bro. Like Exactly the kind of person I'm looking for, bro. <laughs> Right, <laughs> and uh, you know, I was going to bring up your show this Friday, but that'll have already passed. But you got a big uh, opera show that you're doing. Yeah, you know, I'm doing like the whole music school thing, so I've got my recital coming up on uh, December 9th, and whenever this gets released, you know, <laughs> you know, it's going to be pretty good, or it was pretty good, you know? <laughs> or it was amazing. I'm sure, bro, great job. Oh, I'm sure you. that thank thing you. was thank amazing you. already. You know what's yeah. more amazing though? Below the camera view. He has no pants. On. He has no pants on. Yeah, yeah. but that's I that's like it's, yeah, that's, it's that's, Chad, that's Chad. No pants. <laughs> um, so what's crazy is we sit back and we tell these stories, you know, about uh, songwriting and what we do. And I remember writing this song, going out to the witness protection program because that's what I called it. Where you live, right? I lived in Toluca Lake, which is near Hollywood, near Universal Studios, and. You lived only 35 miles away. Right. And it took me two hours. I don't care what time of day it was. It's true. Two hours to go 35 miles. And so you had sent me this little riff. Because you were riding a Vespa. <laughs> right, right. Both feet, yeah, like exactly. This. We, I wish I would cut traffic, you know? <laughs> right. Um, but I did ride in my Harley over here. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> so what was crazy is I had a chorus and I'm like, I got a, I got a melody for the verse. Let's get together. And we had just started doing the Claremont because you lived yeah. in Claremont. Yeah. And we started doing every Thursday, we would get together and do a show. And it was so much work. But it was worth it because of the, the lifelong friendships. That, oh. Like, shout out to... To Greg and Tom and Bernus oh, and yeah. Nancy and Lenny and, uh, and uh, Alan. Uh, rest in peace, Nancy. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? Yeah. And uh, and yeah. Sandy so, and Alan yeah, and Sandy. And, yeah. It just uh, I mean, it goes on and the on crew, and on. Tim, yeah. All 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 out. They're like family to us, man. So and many people. So supportive in in the birth of this band. Right. Because we started it out there, and I remember driving Doing out exactly there. exactly this. Telling this. Stories. Telling stories. We, Chase, we would get together at this restaurant in in Claremont, California. Called it was Walters. Walters, exactly. Yeah. And it was outside. And what was really cool is the first time we did it, I think 50 people showed up, right? Not even. Yeah. And so the next week, it was like 100. And the next week, it was packed. By th week three... The place was packed. And what was cool is we started bringing like Aaron Hindra, we, uh, Bryce. We had all these, Bryce uh, yeah. Soderbergh from Lifehouse. We had yeah. all these people come out and open up for us. And we had Thomas Ian Nicholas. Yes, from, from, from American, American Pie. Pie. And the Rookie of the Year. Yeah. And so we had all these people come out and they would open for us. I remember we had, we had the Scorpions show up to our show. And, and Tom Fletcher's band. Tom's a really famous engineer, oh, really yeah. good friend of ours. And and his first gig ever in front yes. of people was there. From sitting behind the board making so many legends, making their records, to his first time singing in front of people. Yeah. You know, it, it was pretty cool. It was really cool. So every week we would try and out. Dave and Wayne. Dave and Wayne. Would, would rock would rock with us every week and every week that was they even covered one of our songs when we got there they, they were playing one of our songs that we were like we're going to be playing there like sorry we <laughs> you know but they had learned it and it was flattering and the the crowd was just starting to filter in and uh, i remember they were going to 
shut it down, there were two people in an apartment behind the place that complained about the noise because it didn't have a roof. Right. It was we played in this shell to the and we outside. It was so heavy with our acoustic guitars. Yeah, it was not yeah. loud. It's just like <laughs> we're doing here. And it, what was crazy is they offered the owner of basically the great Greg, Greg Half's dad, Herb. Herb. He he owned the 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 all that land around there probably owned the place they lived in and he offered every thursday i'll put you up in a hotel you know if you don't don't like the noise and they refused so they were complaining and all of a sudden we show up to set everything up and there was all these construction guys and we're like what's going on they built a, a shell and soundproofed it so we could put this show on right. and continue doing what we were doing. And the mayor and all these people would come out from all over to see us every Thursday. And it would just be the two of us. And we had Danny and Ryan were in the band playing with us, but they stopped because before we started doing this, because they were like, you guys talk too much. Like between <laughs> songs, literally. And so, <laughs> so, so they came out to a show to watch it and they were like, wow, you guys have come a long way. And we're like, well, we've been doing this. We write new songs. We try them out and we try them out in front of a we, crowd. We, had a, we have a thumbs up and a thumbs, a thumbs down, down process. We never, the one time we had a thumbs down. It was Patch. And, and it ended up being his favorite song, it Angel. Was. We played this song and this, this buddy of ours, Patch, awesome dude. We played it and he's like, ah, yeah. No. Then know. it ended up being his favorite song. But it was so funny because that the, you know, that's the way the community came together. And I remember sitting in my car, I had driven out there, and I heard these two guys, hey, what's going on? Seeing each other in the parking lot. Man, you know, I was having the worst day, but the best part, and I'm hearing them talk, and the hair standing up my arms underneath this leather jacket. And they said, I look forward to this every week. Right. And and they said they play the same songs, but they always add a new song. We always try to, but it was always a new experience because we'd tell different stories about, we could go on forever about where these but songs came from. That's the beauty of, of live music because every song, I mean, even they might be the same songs, but it's a different audience every night. Exactly. So, so the way that the audience gives back to us will directly influence what we're giving back to them. Right. So one song one week may be just electrifying and the next week might put you to sleep. I don't know. <laughs> but but also depends on your mood and what what, what, you, what have you been through in the day? Like but, what's going to yeah. talk to you tonight? What is going to grab you? Maybe nothing, maybe everything. What you touched know? me though was that these two guys had us. We were the glue mm -hmm. making them making them friends, learning each other's names. Uh, going there for this joint experience that was happening once yeah. a week. And that happened all the way up until the day we came to Las Vegas and played for the very first time in Las Vegas. Yeah. And then Las Vegas swooped us up and said, we want the show. And they wanted it every Thursday. And right. so we, but well, we other, needed to evolve anyway. It was in thing, that time. The other thing too, it started becoming people would show up like in the middle of the day to get the front table. Oh my gosh. And it started becoming a little bit like, like there's sometimes, you know, people weren't fighting over the tables, but they kind of were. And, and it yeah. made me a little bit sad because it really defeated the purpose of what we're trying to build. Right. Like, but it wasn't know, on purpose. It was, just, it was out of people, love. I mean, it was, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. But, yeah. but I'm just saying for me, my personal feeling on it was, Hey, we're all here to enjoy a moment. Right. Let's not kill each other in the process. Right. You know what I mean? But but you know what was great? So we moved and, to Vegas. Yeah, well, what was great though, we came to Vegas and we launched our first EP, which we had to pull down. Uh we were gonna sign a deal, we had to pull it down off the internet, and it was only up there for a minute. And that's what's on this record. With that EP, the the album we put out, plus other songs and I think Tom that we did together. Seraphis has more copies of this album. Yeah, oh. than anyone. He just kept buying them. <laughs> he just kept buying them and giving them away. Yeah, yeah in Claremont. He's like, I, I, need, I need another 12. Yeah. I'm like, and Tom, but you bought like 46 last yeah. week. <laughs> yeah, but I gave yeah, them Yeah, I got to give them away. And now I don't have one. Yeah. So, so it's really great that we get to bring this back. But 
So this song that uh, Take We Back was a song that we wrote in Claremont. And I remember being upstairs in your house, the place that had no corners. It was all circles. All right. Um, and, and writing this song and thinking back at that time, and this goes back to what you were saying, thinking back to the time when I was a kid and wishing that I would have paid more attention to my dad and uncle sitting and playing spoons and singing and playing guitar and, and yeah. being, cause I didn't know music was going to be my whole world, but I was ingesting it. It was, I was taking it in, but I didn't sit and really dive into it because i had sports right and i was yeah. i was splitting between the the two but this was that wanting to go back to those moments and and my uncle is not here anymore and so that's what was going on in my head when i when i was penning these lyrics but now that we're sitting here talking about it it takes me back to the claremont days and it, it takes me back to to we brought claremont and those people on a bus. You and I took a, a gamble and we paid for a commercial bus. Ch uh, Chase, dude, like literally we paid for a bus, worked a deal out with the Red Rock Hotel and said every person who bought a ticket, that if two to a room, each room, they got a ticket, they got a spot on the bus. They met on a Saturday morning really early and then we rode the bus with them you rode the bus with them and you guys awesome. told stories and i was in the van following the bus yeah. to save my voice but i remember and we have this on video and i'm there will be a documentary because we shot all this and this will have that footage in there but right. i told my stories on the way back after the show and i remember being on the bus and on the way back when we pulled into town and everybody went oh like it's over yeah, it like was it was, um, it was just incredible feeling to know that our music brought all those people together, right? And and brought us together. So this song goes out to Claremont. I I want to dedicate this one to and, and, everyone and, and, in Claremont, and, and and was a part of that. If you were in the surrounding area and not from Claremont, but you know what we're talking about, you came to those shows. Thank you. It was awesome. And and about the song specifically about taking us back. The lyric, I mean, people often mistake, you know, take me back, but no, it's, it's not. Take it's, it's we. Take we. It's all it's, of it's, us, the collective it's an experience exactly. that, that we all lived. You know, take we back, and the sentiment again kind of came from a sad place of things that have passed, right, and things that we've missed, but a really happy celebration of that, right. You know, and um, remember, we used to go to this little Italian restaurant and eat, yeah, and, and we would write lyrics down <clears throat> on, on, on the on the paper paper. Which I have was a picture the tablecloth, yeah. you know, and I remember this idea started chirping around in my head at that restaurant. I we, were writing a, yeah. we were writing we were writing Black Clouds that night, but you started yeah. noodling this idea there. Black Clouds, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's Black Clouds is on this Absolutely record. We're gonna have to sit down about. <laughs> and do that exactly. <laughs> anyway, you know? that's another. That's a story for another day. Yes. So this song is called "Take We Back." We're Elvis Monroe. I'm Brian. That's Ben. That's Chase running the show. And for those of you listening out there, thank you so much. Um, share this stuff. Please, if you like it, share it with your friends. Um, shout out to Rock Rage Radio, uh, John, Gigi, Curtain Call Records. Thank you so much. You know the most amazing time with this song, other than almost every night that we played it? Oh, yeah. Was on a, the Southwest flight. Oh, my coming, gosh. Coming back into Vegas, and we carried our guitars on the plane, and... Um, it happens a lot. We People were, com like, we were gonna, coming back from doing six charities shows, right. and we were doing it one for Marcus Luttrell right. in Texas the, at the, the Redneck, Survivor. yeah, Redneck, Redneck Country, Country Club, Country Club. Yep. and and we're on the plane. And I remember her name. Her name was Rita. She woke me up and she said, "Hey, is there any chance you guys would get up and play for the plane?" But it happens a lot. You walk on the plane with an instrument, and the the hostess is like, "Are you going to play for us on this flight?" Yeah. But we're like, "Yeah, we'll play anywhere, anytime," and we actually did. It and wasn't just talk. They literally woke us up and like, okay, you guys got to play now. So we, we pulled the phone, because it's an intercom yeah. system, down to kind of between the, you know, between the three of us. Jared Berry was with us at the time and, and you and me. And, and we played this song and we had a whole airliner singing. singing. I'll pluck that in there right yeah. here. So yeah, it was, so it was pretty awesome. It. At anyway, least. 
Yeah, Here and we go. it went viral though. That was a crazy thing. Like in a day, it got like a hundred thousand views or something. It did on a yeah. Southwest Airlines flight. Yeah. Thanks, Rita. Yeah, Rita. Sure, the breath walls are closing in, playing moments in my head. Ball time, and I'm bleeding it. Behind his eyes, you're still here. If there's light, then I'm needing you. I pray to God we will meet again. Take me back where the smile began. Take me back when laughter's all we had. Take me back where the dream. Wound damaged and boost again. There was a time that we were best. I'll make a wish, count my stars again. Left in pieces as I rest. If there's left. You held my head Dreaming of a love That's now our path I cannot lie This dark so sad Dreaming of a love That never lives If there's light Then I'm needing you I pray to God We will meet again Brack boom boom ba boom ba Take me back where the smile began Take me back when love and friends they bled Take me back where the dream began Take me back when love and friends they bled Take me back Oh Take me So uh, we are Elvis Monroe, Brian, Ben, Chase Beyond the Board. Thank you so much. This is Story So Far. So our new album is coming out January 27th. And we are going to have a show in Las Vegas, January 27th. We will let you know where. See you guys. Rock Rage Radio. Thank you so much. <laughs>